Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks, and today we're going to unbox and review a power bank provided to us by Charmast. Now, regular viewers of the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel, or viewers that have been watching for many, many years, will know that we've already covered Charmast products here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. Back in 2019, they sent us four power banks, and I've been using some of them ever since. So it was really nice to hear back from Charmas. They sent us some more review devices. Let's get down to unpackaging it and seeing what's inside. Now, this power bank is available to purchase on Amazon UK. As usual, I will link in the description to where you'll be able to buy this power bank. Obviously, if you purchase uh, from there, you'll be supporting the Tech Travel Geeks. Packaging is quite simple. It's a cardboard box. It's got 10,000 milliamp power Charmas power bank on the front, and the model is W1148. And this is a very particular model. On the black, we see that this is on the back. We see that this is a black one, but it also is available in white, pink, blue, and purple. So lots of color options there. Now, first thing that comes out is actually a nice soft touch uh, bag. And then we have a quality card to say that it's past quality checks. And we have the documentation, which I'm sure we'll go through. Uh, essentially, this will tell us how to use it in multiple languages, gives us details about the output on the power bank, but and a quick description of the product. So let's open up this lovely soft touch bag with Charmas logo in the side of it to see what's inside. So little plastic bags protecting it. And at the front, you can see there's a little plastic lip here. I'm going to take that off. Um, at the front, there's a little screen where there's an LCD panel. It'll tell you what the charge is. There's a Charmast brand. And on the back, this is the key feature of the product. All the cables you'll, you need are built in. So in this case, you have the USB-A cable is built into the power bank. You can just plug that into your charger to charge the power bank. You have a lightning adapter to charge your iPhone or fruity device if you still have an older iPad that doesn't use USB Type-C. So that's the iPhone one. We then do have USB Type-C, so you can use that to charge any modern smartphone or even your iPad uh, if you have one that uses USB Type-C. And even better, you've got one with micro USB. So this is probably getting a bit older, but you may have an older phone that still uses uh, micro USB, or you may have something such as a torch that does require USB type C, so uh, micro USB to charge. So great to see all these cables in place. Let's check out the top. As well as the cables themselves, this Charmast power bank has two USB-A ports and a USB Type-C port for charging. So you can plug in if you have a USB Type-C to Type-C cable or a USB Type-C to Lightning cable, you can use that to charge. Or you can use uh, the two USB-A ports with whichever cable you have. So lots of charging options here and uh, from what Charmas say on their website, you can use multiple charging ports and cables at the same time. So this is really, really good news. Now on the side, we have all the usual regulatory stuff. It tells you the details that this is a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. It's a 37 work hour ba uh, battery. It has output on a port by port basis. Essentially, it's outputting at 5 volts at 2.4 amps max or 5 volts at 2 amps elsewhere. And the highest output is the USB Type-C one, which is 5 volts at 3 amps. So 15 watt output from USB Type-C. And then, obviously, you have micro USB input port here at the side. You can just see that in the camera. Um, that is for charging the thing. So if you have a charger with micro USB, that's how you charge as well as that type C one. At the bottom where the cables are, nothing there and the power button here. So let's have a look at what that LCD panel on the front looks like. 
there you go. It's fairly simple, easy to read. In this case, as it comes out of the box, as delivered to us by Charmast, the power bank has a 73% charge. So what I'm going to do now is take the this Charmast 10,000 milliamp hour power bank off, use it uh, for a while, go through a few charge cycles, and then give you a, a proper review after I've been using it for a few days. So bear with me. Uh, if there is an ad here, please do watch it. You'll be supporting the Tech Travel Geeks. And I'll be back in a moment. Okay then, so I'm back. And after having been using this Charmast power bank for a while, I can say I'm quite happy with it. Uh, let's do one thing that's been bugging me for a bit. I'm going to take that plastic wrapper off the LCD display. So the power bank works great. I've had no issues using it with my iPhone, Android devices, and so on. The cables built in work exactly as advertised. Um, one thing I would say, it's not the fastest power bank to charge, but if you leave it on overnight uh, or you have it uh, plugged in uh, for a while, it will be fine. In terms of charging, it works fine for my devices, including my Google Pixel 7 Pro. So what I wanted to show you is uh, just check that we have a charge on this. Yes, we do. I'm going to show you with my two key cable, which we published our review of the other day. Um, we're going to plug this into the USB type C port on the power bank and see how it performs with my Google Pixel 7 Pro with the display showing it in. So you can see that I'm starting at 16% battery charge as I plug in. I'm going to plug in and see that we start off at two watts and then it bounces up to 11, 12 watts. Now the Google Pixel 7 Pro says that it's charging rapidly. Uh, so it's charging at more than 10 watts. But I have seen it uh, in conditions where I had it even lower go all the way up to 18 or 20 watts. So good charging going on here using the two key cable that we did a review of here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. But this is just to show you that it does charge and it does charge at more than 10 watts. Let's try getting the USB type C port that's on the power Charmast power bank itself. And there we go. It's just charging standard charging. So it's not giving us rapid charging if you use the inbuilt uh, USB type C cable. But if you have this in a bag or you're leaving it on your bedside table using the power bank to charge, that's not so much of an issue. If anything, it will make your battery last longer and probably your power bank. So all in all, after having been using this for a few cycles and charging my Google Pixel 7 Pro, um, and also having used the other one, which we'll be doing a, a review of, which is pretty much the same power bank, but in white, um, is definitely a product I can recommend. So thanks to Charmast for sending us this, these devices to review. Thanks to you for watching this far. I'll link in the description to where you can purchase this Charmast power bank on Amazon UK. Obviously it's an affiliate link, so if you do buy from there, uh, you will be supporting Tech Travel Geeks. Now, if you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. We cover consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, anything we think makes the travel experience better. Obviously power banks are important because they're those sort of things that you'll need to keep your phone powered up, whether that's got your train ticket, your boarding pass for the plane, or any other thing, it's always handy to have a power bank in your bag. So, um, as I said, if you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. For now, I'll wrap up this video. We'll be back tomorrow with an uh, interesting video that's been under embargo for a while. So, have that notification bell turned on, and we'll speak to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.